The findings contained in the 2015-2016 internal audit indicates Kenya Pipeline's budget to procure the composite sleeves, materials for repairing pipelines, had been capped at 150 million shillings. But crafty officials inflated the budget by over 298 million shillings to purchase the sleeves at 361 million shillings. Kenya Pipeline Company would ordinarily purchase such specialized material directly from manufacturers. Officials, however, chose to contract a local firm. The materials were soon after converted into stocks that ended up in stores. This despite their short shelf life. Auditors noting that this paved way for the doctoring of the budget and diverting funds to finance the multi-million scam. The report shows that thermodynamic general supplies was awarded the tender on the 24th of January 2014 in a letter signed by ex-managing director Charles Tanui. The local firm was given the job to supply 450 pieces of the pipeline repair materials of different dimensions. But upon winning the tender, auditors say the company demanded a 40% down payment. The auditors faulting Pipeline for paying the local firm with a letter of credit. This, according to auditors, was an abuse of the process with the intention to make upfront payments before deliveries were made. A letter of credit is the reserve of international firms to show commitment by the user company. But with the materials having a shelf life of only one year, Thermodynamic delivered the items that continue rotting in the stores at Kenya Pipeline. The audit report quantifying that 399 out of the 450 kits expired while in storage, translating to 231 million shillings loss. While EACC is probing the 647 million shillings hydrant valve scam at KPC, the composite sleeve scandal appears to have gone unchallenged. This despite both scams taking place in the same financial year involving senior Kenya pipeline officials. Samogina Sunday Live.